Uh, a warm welcome to all of you on the special week where we are conducting the CSS Beginners to Advanced series. So, one second. So, this time, <clears throat> again, the same schedule we are going to follow where. So, let me have a understanding from all of you that my voice is audible to all of you. Can someone please confirm me? Am I audible properly? My screen is visible to all of you. So just request, I just request a confirmation. So just request a confirmation. So thanks the Chet, the Kumar. Chetan Kumar, okay, okay, I just got it. Thanks, Mr. Kumar. So, am I audible properly? And my screen is also visible to all of you. So, just request a confirmation from someone so that I can go ahead. So, and also one more thing, I just want to listen from you. Yeah, good, good, good evening, brother. Yeah, thanks, thanks. Space lover. Oh my God, what a name. <laughs> so, good evening, good evening, dear. Good evening. Let some more people will join and we will start with today's session. The setup is almost ready and uh, I'm waiting for the rest of the people to join. I just request a confirmation from you people that my voice is audible to all of you, my screen is visible to all of you, so that I can go ahead. So that is all what I want from all of you. And also one more thing I just want to share that there will be a there will be a daily attendance form which I will be sharing in the live YouTube chat which you need to fill to get the participation certificate. That certificate will be sent on your registered mail ID by next Sunday. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Space Lover. Thank you, Voices, Nitesh, Athira, Kat, Katkuri, Katkuri, Rakesh. Okay, thanks. Thanks for the conversation. Now, one thing I just want to listen from all of you, the last thing, Okay, don't take it that every time I'm telling this and So I just want to take a, I just want only the place of the city, only your city name from which city you belong to. So that I just want to have understanding that at which part of the city this content is getting reached. So yeah, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, Aptec. So only the city, only the city city to know just in the comment box, please write your city name so that I just have an understanding that <clears throat> on of which part of India the content is reaching. Okay, okay. Udupi, Bangalore. Perfect. Mm, Kochi, fine. So north and south is here. And uh, Noida, yes, north and south. So no, no one from Western, Eastern and Central India, I guess. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay, so North and South, the content is getting it. Okay, fine. So today, in this week, we are going to start with the CSS. And in this CSS, we are going to cover, we are going to cover the basics of CSS. And after that, uh, after that, after that, after that, we are going to have the Flexbox and uh, CSS Grid. So that is all what we are going to cover in this week. So we have the session on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. The session timing will be from 4 to 5, 1 hour. Okay. And on the four days, there will be a separate attendance form, which you need to fill it for you to get the participation certificate. So this is what all about Noida. Yes. Okay. 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 Chalo. Let's start. Uh, we start. Karte hai, hai? Okay. So what is CSS? CSS is. You all know what is from CSS. CSS is basically cascaded style sheet, which is used to make your website decorative, attractive, <clears throat> colorful. Like that. So without CSS, your website looks very ugly. So. The main purpose of CSS is to beautify the things, or I can say is to style the elements in a basic layman language. What tags we are using in HTML, CSS 
use CSS, target those tags and make the web page beautiful by targeting those tags, those elements of HTML. Mm -hmm. So that is what all about Madurai. Very good. Okay. So that is what all about. Now, after this thing, Okay, now after this thing, let us have a very small introduction of CSS. So CSS is basically a CSS is managed by W3 school. CSS is managed by W3 school, which is located in US. Okay. So and in 1995, CSS come into existence. Fine. That is all about CSS. What you all need to know. Now let us start with the uh css properties so let me have a new folder css and here what we do just simply drag and drop so here quickly we create a file index.html index.html and in this index of html we will write our code so the first thing you all know the emit and in this emit we have our title as css let us quickly save it and make it fly so one second okay 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 so this is the thing what is coming here now let me have a screen adjustment so that things go smoothly. So half of the screen I will be using, I will be allotting to the CSS output and half I'm allotting to the VS code. Okay, seems good. Fine. Now what we do? We are we easily modern here. So okay, so comment section is like that. Okay. So now let us start with CSS. So in how many ways we can add CSS? The first thing is so there are three ways in which we can add CSS. First one is inline. Second one is internal. Internal. Third is. So these are the three ways in which we can add CSS. First one is inline. Second one is internal. And the third one is external. So let us see. Let me save it. And these are the three ways in which we can add CSS. Okay. Now, here. What is inline? Now, try to understand one thing. I have written inline, internal, and external. So, try to take the meaning. Try to take the natural meaning of the words which I am writing. Okay. So, inline. What is inline? Inline means in the same line. So, again, with the help of the style tag, what we do? We allot the CSS property here with the value as with the value of CSS property background color as aqua a u u a. This is the color which we are going to apply it. So control s and this is how it looks like. Now second one is internal. Internal means internally we apply CSS to this HTML file. So this is HTML file and we are applying the CSS here. One second, let me check out the comment section. Okay. Okay, Vijay from Maharashtra. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Guys, please do like the content. If you like it, please do like it because it will help to reach the right set of people who are looking after such type of content. Okay. 
second one is internal. So internally, we apply CSS directly to this HTML file. So how we are going to use it? Again, we, we, we apply, we take the style tag and in the style tag for the H2, we have again the background color property with on hash functionality. It's double F, double O, double L. Control S, so some type of purple type of color, wallet purple type. Now, second thing, second thing is internal. Now let us check out the third thing. What is third? Third is external. So third external, it means that, <coughs> it means that externally we are going to create, we are going to create a CSS file and we are going to link it. So how we are going to make it happen? So let us create a, style.css and in this style.css we write for h again the background color property using rgb pattern and the value we mention here as so, so, so zero one double zero two double five so this is the value what we have put it but here when i am saving it it is not getting reflected here why because if you see here, there is no connection between both the files. So we need to establish a connection and that connection will be established with the help of a CSS property, which is called as a link tag. So this link tag links both the HTML file and the CSS file and it happens here. Now, now after this thing, now after this thing, okay. Now after this thing, if you have noticed one thing here, okay, if you have, If you have noticed one thing here, that in all the three ways of adding CSS, inline, internal, and external, what I did, I have actually added a property which is called as a background color. Okay. So one second. Okay. So I have added a property, which is the background color property. Now here in this thing, I have only added a proper, a property background color property, but I just want to tell you that there, these are the ways in which we can add color. So we can add color. Okay. So, uh, first one is simply typing the First one is simply typing the name of the color, which I did it. So there are around 140, 140 color names. So there are around 140, 140 color names, which you can simply type it. So let us check out some. So here we have HTML color quotes and second one is <coughs> HTML color picker. So as I've told you, W3 school managers, or I can say governs HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So for you to take the reference of any language, please refer the official documentation of that particular language. So here, W3 school is a managing committee, governing committee. So we are taking the reference of W3 school only. So here we have the HTML color picker, where you can simply click on any color and you have there hexadecimal code, RGB code, and HSL code. So these are the three codes which we have. Right. Now, after this thing, now after this thing, we have one more thing here, which is called as a HSL. Now, what is this HSL? So here, 
H stands for hue. This is the hue. Hue contains the colors. See, hue contains the colors. Um, one minute. Uh, one minute. One minute. One. Minute. Uh, okay, so here hue contains the colors. So these are the colors. So uh, these are the colors. And after that, we have the saturation. Saturation contains the sharpness. Saturation contains the sharpness. Lightness contains the brightness of the color. Okay, so with the help of RGB, red, green, and blue, you can prepare any color of your choice. So you can see, see, just simply drag it. You can have any color of your choice. So if you have zero, zero is for black, two five five is for white so if we have the 0 0 0 in the rgb pattern the color comes is of a black color okay so first way of adding color is the is simply typing the name of the color so there are around 140 140 color names which you can simply type it out Second one is second one is using a hexadecimal format. So hexadecimal format starts with hash, and after this hash, we have and after this hash, we have after this hash, we again have a uh, RGB, pure RGB. So here in this hash, double F represents the red color, double zero represents the green color, double A represents the blue color. Again, it is a pattern of RGB. But the third one is purely RGB. Purely RGB means it is pure red, green, and blue color. So the range starts from zero to two five. So you can put anything between these three. Any values between any values of these three colors. So that is how it goes like that. Now, after this thing, let us check out selectors. What are selectors here? So here H3 is the selector. This particular thing which I've selected is a property. This is the value, and entire this thing is the declaration. So that is how it works here. Now, after this thing, let us have a basic paragraph and we are going to style this thing. So we have a para and uh, in this para, let us have a font size of let's say 20 feet. Okay, so first one is first property is the font size property. Now, after this font size, let us check out the next thing which is called as the line height. So line height, let's say 10, no, 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 1.5 p x, 1.2 is very small. One 
1.5 EM. After this line height, we have what is called as the uh, text transform to uppercase. So everything will be in a capital letter. We have text decoration, text decoration to let's say underline. So text decoration to underline and after that we have the next thing here which we can see is the uh, 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 letter spacing letter spacing and after this letter spacing we can have the next thing so value let's say 2.5 rem looks very looks on a very high side so let me have 1.5 REM and one second, one second, one second, and after that we have word spacing. Uh, 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 word spacing we have 2.5 EM and uh, after that we have the next thing which is called as the. Uh, uh, we have the next thing which is called as the mm, font family. So we can have the font family here. So by default, let us pick up this font, which is the Arial Helvetica and Sensory font. Okay. So this is the font family. Now in this font family, you see by default we so okay. Before discussing this font family, let us discuss all these properties. What is this all about? Fine. Sir, how does will plant our meetup thing? Yeah, I don't cute. I don't feel sorry if I did not speak the correct name. So how do this will plant our meetup? So I didn't get it here. Uh, I didn't get it your question actually. Okay, so let us go back. Okay, so then if you see, we have the thing, we have the thing there. Yeah. The first property we have taken is the font size. The font size, everybody know what is font size? The unit of font size is px, what we have taken. So font size is at nothing but the height of the font. Okay. Now line height. Line height is the spacing between the lines. Okay. After that, we have the text transform. Text transform uppercase means everything gets converted to the capital letter. Now after that, we have text decoration. Text decoration. Text decoration means everything is underlined. So we have we have we have selected the property as underlined. So everything is underlined. After that, we have letter spacing. Letter spacing is 1.5 rem. Letter spacing means spacing between the letters. Okay. And after that, we have word spacing. Word spacing 2.5 em. So in any case, we want the spacing between the words. So we can have the word spacing property. After that, we can have the font family. Now, what is this font family? Font family is nothing but the font which we want to apply on the content. So here, by default, we have taken the three fonts. First one is Arial, second one is uh, Helvetica, and third one is Sans Serif. Now, what is this all about? So here, Arial is the primary font. Helvetica and Sans Serif is the second one. Now, what is this primary and what is this secondary? So, primary font is the font. Okay. So, let us go for an example. So, if suppose Google Chrome does not support uh, Arial font. Okay. Suppose Google Chrome does not support Arial font. So, it will automatically pick up the next capable font, which is the Helvetica font. Okay. So, this is how the secondary font comes into action. Now, after this, 
if let's say suppose microsoft edge does not support arial and helvetica font so what it will take it will automatically pick up the next available font which is a sans serif font so that is how it goes like that and we can discuss like that now let us check out let us check out google font because these days google fonts are into action So we have Google fonts. Okay, so these are the Google fonts, which is there in front of your screen. Attendance, are you? Attendance, doing it, na, boy? We will. I will give attendance. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's my job. I will give you. So these are Google fonts. Mm, let us pick this one. We'll see, and in the top, I will paste it. And here, so let me have the name. Right. It is coming in. <clears throat> so this is how you can import a Google font here. Okay. Now, after this thing, okay. After this thing, mm -hmm. let us check out. Uh, let us create another paragraph. Okay. We'll have a lorem of let's say twenty. So a small paragraph what we have created, but what is happening currently, the set of styles what we have given to this, okay, automatically applies to the second one also. Why this is happening? Because there is no aggregation, there is no bifurcation between the style which has been given to the First one. So this style we have created for the first paragraph. But what is happening? This paragraph also took up the same set of style and it is getting replicated. Why? Because there is no segregation, there is no bifurcation that why this as this set of style currently applies to which set of paragraph. So for this particular thing, we have something called as classes and ID. So classes we have the class name as let's say the name of the class is top. The name of the ID as bottom. Okay. So now what are classes and what are IDs? So classes and IDs are used to target the HTML elements. First thing. Now second thing is same class can be used multiple times. But ID 
can only be used one time. So this bottom I can use only one time and this top I can use as many times as I wish. Uh, brother, sometimes audio not properly. Okay, okay, okay. Don't be able to copy the Google CDN in HTML. No, no, no need to copy the Google CDN in HTML because I have not did it. I just import it. If you see, if you are asking for Google font, you see, I just import it. This particular section, I copied it and put it in the in the top of the CSS. And CDN, if you are asking about CDN, uh, CDN is what we are actually working with Bootstrap. When we are going to, when we are importing the Bootstrap in the HTML, we are using uh, the, there are two methods. First one is the download method and second one is the CDN method. So this is the method what we are doing. Okay. So now after this thing, uh, 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 okay. So classes and IDs. Okay. So here, we have a classes and IDs. So class name we have taken as top. So let us segregate this particular thing with the help of dot top. So dot is used to target, is to identify the class. And rest is for ID. So let us check out. So we have hash bottom and we'll apply the font size of let's say 20 p x and after that we have some mm, 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 text transform to uppercase okay so this is how you can target the html elements with the help of classes and items fine now after this thing we will see uh the next important thing in CSS, which is called as a box model. So for this box model, what I will do, let me repeat the page. And here, so here if you see, so this particular thing which you see here, a kind of a box so this is a box model so first it contains the content after content we have the padding after padding we have the border after border we have the merge so after content we have padding so padding is all across the content on all the sides see. after padding we have border and border is also on all the and after border we have margin margin is also on all the sides so that is how it goes like that now let us create this particular thing here so we have a padding of let's say 20 px after padding we have border after border we have margin So here it goes like so the box model property contains the content after content we have padding after padding we have border after border we have much okay after after this thing okay so we have some more ways in which we can apply the padding and margin so let us apply we have padding left of let's say 10 px so 20 px Okay, so in this way we can have 
different different padding for different different sizes now after this let us apply the same module for margin also we have margin top let's say 40 bx left bottom this is how it goes like that now one more method i just want to share you here this one is uh, if i give adding of let's say 20 x and 40 p x that means 20 bx is for top and bottom and 40 bx is for left and right similarly if i have for margin so 40 bx is for top and down and 20 bx is for left and right got it thanks yeah okay 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 thanks uh, okay so this is how we can go here now after this box model let us create a style and try. We will try to style it. So let me we have a div two h two u l l i l i l i l i into six greater than a this is a structure a very very simple structure what we have created let us have the content Ash. right and i'm writing the name of the colors Black, purple, orange. So these are the name of the colors. What we have written here. Now, let me have a parent category. Parent class. Parent categories is the name of the class. What we have written. Here. Okay. Now what we are doing? We are going to style this particular setup what we have created with the help of css fine okay so let us understand what is this all so do we have a div so this is a parent div with the parent class categories and after that we have a h2 h2 is somewhat looking different h2 and the content category after h2 we have a ul ul means unordered list unordered list contains the list item list item contains the anchor list, anchor tag with the content as the name of the colors as the red green blue kind of thing so this is how the structure goes by right? that so okay so let us start Telling it so copy the class name dot categories and let us have a border first of let's say 5p border property and similarly we have a border radius property of let's say border radius property let's say 15 px Spread these sharp edges turn into the third ones. And uh, if you have seen this thing, 
by default this h2 gets colored so we have already given a set of style here so let us comment out this thing so that it won't get affected now after this border radius okay okay so let us apply the font family no after this thing let us pick up the next element and we were and we style it so dot categories to the yes text lines painter And, and uh, okay, so next we have got the grease UL padding of let's say zero and uh, LS is tied to none, these dots will get removed. And after that, what else we can have? Uh, uh, dot categories mm -mm -mm. tag x decoration to none font color let us take this and let us have a margin in the bottom No, 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 it is not from here, so it we need to add this property here dot categories L uh, I and we have okay, and let us have some so padding from the left of it is 20 px. And also a border bottom we can have here border bottom of let's say one p x solid with uh oh not solid we have dotted blue oh, oh blue is not coming this we need to apply on the l i so that is how we are going to style now after that let us have a uh, let us have let us have a chat of this may power property one second yeah hi ajit hi ajit uh power property so our property we apply it on anchor tag dot category Tag power mm. and we just change the background color of let's say yellow with the increase in the font size of let's say if I hover it okay I'm lying. So that is how you can create or you can style it. Now, one minute, let me share you the attendance link. One second. Just checking the attendance link, one minute. One minute, taking the attendance link. Okay, got it. So one second, one second, one second, one second. Okay. 
day one. So today is the day one. So day one attendance link I have shared in the live YouTube chat. So this is. So day one attendance link has been shared in the live YouTube chat. You are requested to please fill it and confirm me back. Okay. Day one attendance link has been shared in the live YouTube chat. You are requested to please fill it and confirm me back on the comment section. Okay, so setup is ready. Just let us hold the session for a minute for, for you people to fill it and confirm it. So please fill the attendance form and confirm me back in the comment section. Also, please do like the content. Once you get there. Okay, how to know about hackathons meetup? So hackathons. Uh, okay, so I guess everybody is on our WhatsApp group. So in case you are not associated to us through our WhatsApp group, so let me share you the link. So let us have. So you can join the WhatsApp group for so you can join the WhatsApp group for the updates. Okay. So I guess for this is actually for uh, right. So in case you are not on the WhatsApp group, I request to please click on the WhatsApp group link and so that you also have an idea that currently what is going on in the channel. So we do have hackathons, we do have meetups, everything we have, but everything what we are doing, we are sharing on our WhatsApp group so that you people have an idea that what is currently going on in the channel. Okay, so can we go ahead? Is everybody done? I request I got a reply only from one two people only. So I guess people are working on it. So let us wait for another minute for people to uh finish it, finish it attendance.
Thanks. Thanks. Let's call. Please confirm because it will not be shared anywhere else. If you have got it, we we are sharing this only here only. So once you fill it, please confirm me back. In case you find any problem filling it attendance form, please do reply also. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Done, 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 done. Okay. So here comes to an end of today's session, and tomorrow we will resume back. Okay. Tomorrow we will resume back with the styling or with the creation of form. Then we will style it. Then we have some float property. We have some block property, like that. Okay. So I guess everybody has filled attendance form. Day one completed. Very good. Very good. Very good. And please do like the content. Thank you. Thanks all of you for the support. See you tomorrow again at four.